Leo. Hello, Leo. Welcome. We're going to do a general. Not all the messages here may resonate. Um, you've also heard many other tarot readers, I'm sure, and about the speely there. So, <clears throat> that said, let's just get into it. Let's see where your current energy is. It seems that yours is in manifestation. Manifestation mode. You're trying to make things happen, trying to bring things in. We have the moon, queen of swords, four of wands, and the eight of cups. Well, with the moon here, I kind of see it as this card as well, with the manifestation. There seems to be a few things that you may not be known, and you are on the lookout for them. You it seems like you're trying to bring uh, stability to something that may be an otherwise unstable situation that you may have walked away from where you weren't feeling com feeling completely fulfilled it's like you are really guarded maybe you're trying to figure out what to do but you're really guarded uh, now as you've walked away and ended this or maybe this could be them so let's have a look and see what what is it that you want Leo What is Leo's desire, please? Guidance. Spirit guides. You may desire some type of an answer that comes in to help you with your highest good. Now, clarifying this, we have the Knight of Swords. The Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So underneath that this guidance it seems to be attached to the situation of somebody from the past that you are wanting to move towards despite something that may not have been somebody might not have been fair the seven of swords it's like somebody got away with too much this could be you coming in or maybe you're wanting guidance as to what you should do when this information or this communication comes in. Makes sense given the current situation of walking away and being on guard. Uh, let's go into what the possible outcome is for you. What is the outcome for Leo? Closure. So closure. This could be closure in that the relationship concludes itself and you move on or closure in that there's a reconciliation. So let's have a look. King of Cups, Seven of Coins, Temperance, and the Knight of Cups. There seems to be a decision. It feels like finding love, you're wondering if it's worth all the effort and all sort of the pain of going through this and needing to have temperance, patient, compromise, balance, all of those types of things. And the security that goes with that. So this situation could be closing out. So you're closing out a major love of your life, wondering if anything else new comes in for some of you. This also could be closure with respect to this relationship and you're weighing your options, although you're deep in your thoughts with this or emotions with this. You're wondering if it's still worth it and, you know, work to rectify that situation. So there's still questions to be answered and how you will deal with that. The Five of Wands, the World card, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands is what is actually assisting you right now. So, although there may be sort of a little bit of fighting back and forth, there is, this is causing you to possibly move on to create a new world for yourself. And you're just waiting for things to sort of finish up with this partnership by the looks of it. What you need to be aware of, however, is the tower followed by the High Priestess, the Ten of Swords, 
and six of coins. So there's going to come a moment um, where this high priestess finally realizes things are over and even whatever they give or do doesn't really seem <clears throat> like enough. It's almost like intuitively you know this tower moment's coming, that this ending is coming. You've been seeing it all along, but you may not be acknowledging it. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Cups. As I look at this, do you really want to go back to something? You know, you're looking at this as sort of uh, a point where you see that you've sort of figured stuff out with this energy. Where you're like, you know what, is this really... Um, this is really what I want. Uh, there could be, also with the Four of Cups, this can also be you're resigned to the fact this could be re um, rejection at the same time. So all of a sudden you gain clarity about this Three of Swords, the pain that you're going through. And it's almost like you've resigned yourself to it that you're not going back. That's a possibility. <clears throat> Interesting read. And what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to pull a card from a completely different deck called The Journey Within. And this is just a um, an oracle card. Thank you. My brain's not working. So this has to do with relationships. Uh, the Baki way instills a shift from explo exploitation to unselfish service, from arrogance to humility, from indifference to compassion, from vengeance to forgiveness, and from hatred to love. So to me, this is saying, you know, as you go through this, don't develop hatred over it. Uh, just kind of accept it. You don't have to forget it. You can remember it and the lessons that are there and those types of things so a bit of an interesting read for you today leo i don't think i get very many of these types of love reads for you but interesting nonetheless we'll see you next time stay safe